We'll now take you along to the National Portrait Gallery of Edinburgh, a whole realm of delights, both earthly and non-earthly, to really get the mind thinking into spaces that you might not have considered before. This installation in the lower ground floor of the Portrait Gallery is really an inquiry into personhood and humanness. The idea of movement and not movement, ableness, disabledness, the kind of the idea of the portrait and the focus on the face and the image and the body. What happens when the body is removed from this and what happens when we simply have an artifact of this movement and this life around us? What designates life? We have the different shapes, the larger, the smaller, screwed up and released. The idea that this isolated chair for two sat on its own. The singular bottle of hand sanitizer brings a question of cleanliness but set alone. The nothingness, there's this potential, this vision for what we could potentially reach for, yet it's obstructed by this glass. The yellow background really emanates feelings of madness and brings associations of the madness one might reach in isolation. Yet at the same time, the solitary bench brings kind of ideas of comfort and cosiness. The comforting pillow, contrasted with the harshness of the wood, is shapely yet emotive in its makeup. This installation really draws attention to recent times in public spaces. So that they say that eyes are the windows to the soul. And in the Nat National Portrait Gallery, the eyes really are the focus in this particular space. With handouts, with the eye, what does the eye actually mean? Now, in this particular room, we can see how the eye the windows of the building, the eyes of the building are covered, closed, from the outside or from the inside? Are we inside the brain, ignoring the outside world, or are we unable to truly attain the light from the outside to be able to see the inside in context? This small but intimate element to the exhibition is one that's often ignored by the gallery goers in this particular installation. We see here a tiny but topsy-turvy reflection of the internal realm. The switches turned upside down. The Wi-Fi turned upside down. The question really is, is everything quite as presentable and surface level and curated as you think it will be? The idea is that you look at the larger picture, but when you squint and look closer in, Actually, the elements that really drive the force are never quite as organised and set up as you think they will be. In this particular piece, titled Staff Offices, we are presented with a door. But a door to where? In the context of the larger exhibition, with a lot going on and a lot of stimulation visually, this idea of a door to an empty corridor is a really interesting concept. Staff Offices, a door to nowhere, do the staff do anything? Do the staff exist within the gallery or outside of the gallery? Are they controlling it from the inside, the outside? Are we able to access it? So right? welcome to the soup yeah, aisle. Uh, we're making some art, is that right? We're not going to mess anything up. Making we're making some art, is that okay? We're not going to mess anything up, it's just for an experiment. Okay, sorry, can we please?